Uh, today we're going to talk about power and wise boundaries. So Pete, this is, as I read this chapter over and over, uh, it's a massive chapter, uh, lots of implications. But for you, why uh, is this chapter so important in light of the overarching themes of the Emotionally Healthy Leader? Yeah, this is actually the reason I wrote the book, was the challenges I was having around power and wise boundaries. And realizing we don't talk about it very much in the church, but how do I function? At that point, I was the lead pastor, senior pastor, and I had on staff close friends um, who we hung out with for a number of years who really were wonderful, lovely, godly people. Um, the church had grown quite a bit, but yet I was also their boss. I was also their pastor. I was also their spiritual leader uh, for their families. And it got really complicated for me looking at, whoa, how do we go forward here? The church is now you know, running you know, it's a thousand people. Who's in the right roles? And, and how do I be a boss in that context? It was so complicated and so confusing to me because we were a community that um, I recognized it was some deep issues inside of me. And that dilemma, uh, and challenge, because I realized if I didn't break through this power and ba wise boundaries issue, uh, our church, either I was going to need to leave, or the church was doomed, uh, because I basically couldn't leave because of my friendships. So it was out of that struggling that, if you remember the story of the, of the um, skyscraper, the four inner life issues impact the outward issues of our leadership. This is the outward issue that I realized it wasn't just some techniques of what to do, it related to me and my own iceberg, my own work. And so it took me deeper into the areas of VHS that I never dreamed of 